I finally found something that I'm very passionate about and I really have enjoyed my time in Israel the past two times that I have been here and so it seemed like a perfect fit where I could do what I love in a place that I really enjoy. I had no idea that we were on top of the mountain. <laughs> um, for some reason I, that never came to my mind or it was something that I expected so um, yeah it's the views are beautiful um, it's amazing. been very, very challenging, but very rewarding. Um, one of the things of my program is that you do field training while you're um, taking your classes, and I feel like getting that experience has really helped me gain a lot of knowledge um, that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise, because I really feel like experience is the best teacher. If you're doing things while you're learning it, it really sinks in, um, and so doing field training with the classes has really helped me. Um, and we've seen a lot of progress in the patients that we've been working with. Said one of the girls, she, she didn't um, talk at all and people thought at the center that she didn't even speak, um, but she started talking a lot actually while she was in art therapy. So that was incredible. It was seriously like a miracle to watch. Um, and then also, the same girl, she, they thought that she was completely immobile so that she couldn't really walk, she couldn't move, um, she was in a wheelchair all the time. But again, through art therapy, she was able to walk, like, not a lot, but like she could stand up and like walk to her seat, which she could never do before or that people knew that she had the ability to do that. And so to see that and to witness that was like, oh my gosh, like art therapy definitely works, first of all. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things that I'll take back from Israel is how community oriented people are. I really appreciate that about this country is you can literally ask anyone on the street for help and hands down they'll help you. Like some people will go as far as like, oh you lost your key, your dog, like let me take you. Like do you need a ride there? Like I'll, I'll help you get there. Like you would never find that in the States, like that kind of hospitality and that help. And so I really have appreciated that. I, I won't ever forget this place and the experiences that I have had here and I would love to come back again. So, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> it's so delicious, yeah. Um, I love the falafel. I probably eat it like once a week uh, with tahini and and all that, like I cook a lot of it too at home actually. I'll make grilled eggplant a lot. Um, yeah, everything, the produce is so good here. It's so fresh. It's really different from the States. I would say coming to Israel with a very open mind and a very optimistic spirit is the best that you can do for yourself because it's not gonna be easy. Like you're coming to a different culture and um, a new experience and if you're coming with that with an open mind and open heart then you'll have a lot better of an experience than being completely shut off to, to what it has to offer.